Hello. Thank you for tuning into another episode of Take 10 on Tuesdays with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Jason Luntz. Today I'm excited to have a great guest. Uh, not only is she a personal friend of mine, she's somebody who I feel represents Nashville in a really positive light. I am with J.K. Hunter of jkhunter.com. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you, Jason? I'm good. I'm good. good. I'm glad you're able to make it down here today. Thank you. No problem. So for um, the people in my audience who don't know who you are, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I am a makeup artist. We call ourselves a celebrity makeup artist after you've maybe worked for a while. Okay. And um, I do movies, television, film, weddings, makeovers, classes, anything related to makeup. But I additionally went to hair school, so I'm a hairstylist and a barber. And several years ago, I picked up the art of wig making. So I did oh, that wow. also. Mm -hmm. So um, when you say celebrity, so you actually deal with celebrities and in the entertainment field? On a regular basis for 21 years. 21 years? Yes. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's big. That's big. Now, so um, how important is um, makeup to uh, the entertainment industry? Makeup is integral to the ma the industry because pretty much everything in the industry is marketing. You know, they're selling you something. They're selling you a TV show. They're selling you themselves as a comedian or an actor or whatever. So since most people look just like everybody else, regular, mm -hmm. makeup is integral to make setting you apart from the masses wow. and making you look tip top. And like that actual celebrity, that fame that you've gained, it makes you look like you're worthy of that fame you've gained. Oh, wow. Now, um, do uh, regular people, they use your service as well? I heard you say weddings. Yes, absolutely. I deal with any woman who wants to... Um, upgrade change her look for whatever reason she's moving into the next level with her business mm. she wants to um, get a higher level corporate job cleaning up your look refining your look is integral to moving forward you can be smart the brains work that's fabulous you can wear the nicest of suits and the best of clothes but when you add that layer of makeup and hair to the next level it increases your bottom line. You end up wow. getting a higher contract. Really? Yes, absolutely. So um, women out there who want to make sure they um, look their best, they can actually hire someone like you. Absolutely, yes. I come in and I will either do a class with them and all their friends and we have wine and we talk about makeup and we do makeup from beginning to end. We talk about skincare, everything. Or I can do a one-on-one -on -one class with a woman and teach her how step-by-step -step to do her makeup. I do one side of her face. She has to replicate the other side because I don't want you leaving saying you spent money with me and you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> wow, you do one side and they have to finish the other? They have to replicate what I do. Oh man, I didn't know, I guess as a man, I didn't know makeup can be, it's something you really have to learn. It is, it's, it's, it's intricate, it's art, but at the same time, it's nowhere near as difficult as everybody makes it. Oh, really? But maybe that's because I've always gotten it. I've always had it, but I did go to makeup school also, but I've always just been good at makeup. So you're good at it and you also can teach it. Yes. Yeah, not everyone can do that. Right, yes. Now as a makeup artist, what made you initially decide to work um, on your own with your own company rather than work for a big, um, since there's so many opportunities in that industry for your profession, what made you do it on your own? I did it on my own just because I couldn't see myself leaving the previous job I was at, which was Federal Express, and leaving there making really good money and going to work in the mall. It just didn't make sense to me. Okay. Um, and then next level would be um, freelance or working in a salon and I never really wanted to totally work in a salon sometimes I'm leaning towards it and sometimes I'm like no, no. <laughs> you know so in my time I can't really dedicate to a salon mm -hmm. I can maybe do one day or two days in a salon but as soon as somebody calls me for a TV show like the game or let's stay together or Ricky Smiley show I'm gone You're out. I'm out and okay. I'm out for weeks Wow. So if yeah. you're depending on me to get your eyelashes or coming to me regularly to do your makeup, you pretty much have to go to someone else or one of the young ladies that works with me on a regular basis. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now, so you travel. Um, where in the country do you um, travel the most as far as for um, entertainment? Atlanta. 
I so, live here in Atlanta. So that's where I do the bulk of my work in okay. these two cities. Now, Atlanta, would you say, um, is it more TV or more film there? It's both. It's both? It's a, it's a massive amount of both there. Far is, more than Nashville. More than Nashville? Oh, far more. Is the TV and entertainment in Atlanta predominantly just african-american based program or is it all oh no all kinds of movies are being done there major motion pictures um flight was done there which stars denzel but it yeah. is a high budget movie. A big movie um a lot of um anchorman 2 was done there <laughs> um they're filming um the hunger games three and four now and that's yeah. been going for months and it'll go to later on until the end of 2014 i yes. understand so it's so much going on there um, a variety of shows, no one genre, no one race. Well now, with um, Nashville being Music City, so I know we have a big music presence, and we're close to Atlanta, what is it, what, how much entertainment is here in Nashville now? Because I hear, I know we got the Nashville television show, right. which is a big hit, right. but I hear a lot of cable, smaller programs are filmed here, like Home Guard Networks and shows like that. Yes. How, how much TV and film work is here in the city. It's a good deal of, but it's really, it's, I won't say small, um, it's lesser budgets than what's going on in Atlanta, but you got to be in a loop to even know anything about it or mm -hmm. to hear anything about it. It's a good deal that goes on. We just don't have the big the big ones. Yeah, the big shows here. The NBC, ABC, even the um, TNT, TBS, a lot of that films in Atlanta. We don't have a lot of that type of thing going on here. But yeah, you're right. HGTV, um, Food Network has been here. A lot of people are here. A lot of people fly into here to do a lot of things because I'll get a call sometimes, depending upon who it is, to come in and do some celebrity that you just wouldn't think would be in Nashville. Wow. See that? See, and I, another thing I heard about Nashville too is a lot of celebrities like here, like here because they don't get mobbed or attacked like in other cities. Like right. you can be hanging out and see a celebrity, and no one even. Right, nobody even be phased. I like I've walked past Nicole Kidman in the yes. mall easily. No big deal. Um, the young lady from the doctors who went to um, Vanderbilt and Meharry, I saw her in Green Hills Mall a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago. Said hi to her, you know. Told her I didn't know she was from Nashville, um, and that was it. I just kept on mm -hmm. going. You know, who knows how many people stopped or even noticed who she was. Yes, people. People are intrigued sometimes when they see people like that, but they don't harass them the way they might get in some other city. And we don't have the paparazzi here, but we're beginning to get it. Yeah, you know, I heard TMZ has a, bur a barrel here now. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's pretty crazy. And as far as the music industry, how much makeup work do you do for musicians in Nashville? I've worked with a great deal of musicians, some up and coming. I've worked with a few country people um, that were up and coming, some names. Um, it's, it just varies. You, I never know from day to day, you know, what call I'm going to get and who I'm going to deal with and what's going to happen, whether it's going to be television, film, a photo shoot, a mm. video. I don't know. I never know. That's a, that's a, sounds like a good, uh, I like that though. It's exciting. It is exciting. And because I, and one of the few makeup artists who can do everyone's makeup, mm -hmm. male, female, regardless of race, um, I get a good deal of calls. And I even get a good deal of calls to come in for reshoots to fix things that other people did. Oh, that see? That didn't come out well. See, if they mess up yeah. out there, yeah. your car, to get the photo shoot right. Yeah. Um, and with, um, now with our large music presence, um, I, I want people to understand that it's more than just country here. Oh, absolutely. Country is not the main base music here. I mean, it's a lot of country done here, and a lot of country artists live here. But the gospel and Christian community yeah, that's huge. are, far I think, far bigger here. And tons of R&B um, rap people, <clears throat> excuse me, of course, since um, one of the young men here used to be in G-Unit, mm -hmm. you know, 50 Cent and all of them ha used to hang out here. I don't know if they still do. Um, I hear that Beyonce and Jay-Z have a house outside of Nashville in like Franklin, Brentwood, somewhere out there. Um, I don't know how true it is, but there are a lot of people who know and understand how much house you can get for your money here and how laid back it is, but still upgraded where you can live a really fabulous life. Yeah. 
Definitely can, yeah. Uh, I definitely love the the nightlife here, the restaurants. I mean, it's a lot going on. It is, and we have an international airport. People don't seem to understand that it, you can go anywhere in the world from and Nashville. You don't have to go an hour or two hours to an international airport. You can go to Europe straight from here. Right from here. Right. That is good, yeah. I, I, you know, everyone knows I'm a big fan of Nashville. Right. Um, the last thing I want to talk about was um, the exciting stuff that you're doing at Pearl Cohen High School. Yes, um, yes, yes. I wanted to... If you could talk a little bit about um, it being an entertainment magnet school and how it's the only one in the nation and things like that. At Pearl Cone, I ended up being on their advisory board, and it's the entertainment advisory board, which basically comprises of people who are in the entertainment field, television, film, video, um, social media. We want you to come in, and we can oh. convince you to come in and, <laughs> and join us and help the students out. It is the only school in the world, we think, definitely in the um, America, that has an entertainment base. Everything they learn, regardless of what they learn, is still skewed in some sort of way to um, relate to entertainment so if they're learning about math they may be talking about math in regards to how you count up your points and how you may get your money through BMI ASCAP and CSAC Wow! so they relate everything to it and they have a two million dollar um, studio that was a gift from the Golf Channel um, there are multiple labs and there is the only student ran record company in high school in America, we think in the in the world also Relentless Records. It's also it's under Warner, and um, two very wonderful men that are major in the industry, the Caldwell brothers, help run that and get that together. But it is basically run by the kids, and the board of directors are the kids from the school. That's that's powerful. It's, it's powerful. It's a wonderful facility. Um, there's so much going on there that everybody's amazed. It's radio stations, there's broadcasting, there's um, music, they're scoring music, they are, they've already released one CD, a Christmas CD um, from Relentless. Um, there's hair and makeup there, yes, which is beginning yes. to evaporate from the school system, but it's still there because it's a major portion of television, film, and so entertainment. You, so you actually, so you're on the board, but so that's a, a big part you can actually play a part in at the school, the hair and uh, makeup I do. aspect. I do. Yes, I go just hang out. Some days I just show up and I hang out in there. I hang out in the school. Um, I've helped with the drama department because I do theater also. Um, I do hair, makeup, and wardrobe for theater, whereas for television, I only do television and film. I only do makeup because I'm in the union. Okay. And so um, it's just so much going on there. I've oh, helped man. with the plays. It's just, it's a lot. I love it. Well, yeah. that's exciting. What they're doing at that high school, I actually had a chance to visit it recently, and it's really exciting. And it's another, one of the many reasons why um, Nashville is such a progressive yes. city. Yes, very much so. It's, and people just don't grasp nor understand that this city was named because of the Jubilee Singers, not because of country music. Ah. Music City has absolutely nothing to do with it being a country music city. It's mm -hmm. just a lot of country does go on here. And they would like you to believe that it's mostly country. Absolutely, well, it, it is the not. Fist, the Fifth Jubilee Singers. Yeah, when they visited uh, the Queen of England. Right. Said you must be from a music city. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's deep. <laughs> I'm glad we got to share that story. HBCU. That's, that's right. That's what we do. TSU yes. all the way. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm really glad you uh, had time to come down here. I know that you're busy. Um, and for people that are interested in learning more about your services as far as makeup or just want to read more about your bio, I'm going to tell you her bio's got a lot of big names on it. You'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Um, that one of Nashville's own is out there doing it like this. Um, if you want to share your website. My website is jkhunter.com. Well, that's nice and easy. Very easy. <laughs> you know, like, taking classes on and branding, and it, you should always have it easy. Yeah, I make it simple and quick. Yeah. That's right. That's a great point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, once again, I'm glad you made it today. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. And uh, once again, you've been tuning in to Take 10 on Tuesdays with the Tennessee Tribune. See you next time.